Hi everyone, in this lesson I'll be introducing some new words. You can find this material in your student book page 61 and in your booklet as well page 30. Gracious, gracious. What part of speech is this word? Kindly pay attention to the suffix here. To the end of the word, it is an adjective. Let's talk about this picture. What is she doing? She is presenting food to her friends. So how can I describe this girl? She is kind, sociable, and gracious. Let's read the example. Thank you for your gracious hospitality. I have an adjective here. I have a noun here because adjectives describe nouns gracious means very polite in a way that shows respect so the girl here is showing a kind of respect to the friends she is gracious the noun of the word graciousness the adverb is graciously admire admire Look at her eyes. So when you like how your friend deals with hard times or hard situations, you admire his way. It's like you like, you like his way. I admire the way you handled. Handled, it means dealt. Such a touch situation. Admire means to look at someone or something with enjoyment. The noun of it, admiration, shen. Pay attention that shen always shows that the word is noun. Equally, equally. She is respected equally by the young and old. What part of the speech is this word? Look at the end. Look at the L-Y. It is an adverb. What does this sentence mean? It means that both the young people and the old ones as well respected her in the same way. Same way, equally. Equally means in an even or equal manner. Equality is the noun. Equal is the adjective. Appearance. Appearance. What part of the speech is this word? It is a noun. Look at the suffix here. Use lotions that improve your skin's appearance and texture. The second one. The general appearance of the house is quite good. Appearance means that way that someone or something looks. Delighted, delighted. The children were especially delighted that there were enough cookies for each of them to have two. Delighted means very happy, full of great pleasure or satisfaction. The adverb is delightedly, the noun delightedness. Compliment. When you admire someone or something, you say some new words, right? So this is exactly a kind of compliment. So compliment with I here. Kindly pay attention to the spelling of the word. What part of the speech is the word? It is a noun. When customers recommend our company to friends, we consider that to be the highest compliment we can get. Compliment means a remark that says something good about someone or something. Convince. Convince. What part of the speech is this word? It is a 
Verb. Now let me ask you this question. What do you do if you want to visit your friend? What do you do? I think you always try to convince your parents, right? So convince means to cause someone to believe that something is true. He is trying to convince her. Now look at the word. Look at this word. I have it here in my Miriam Webster. Gobble. 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 Look at the picture. He is eating quickly. Maybe he is in a hurry. He gobbled his breakfast since he was late. So gobble means to swallow or eat something quickly. Again. Gobble. Beware. A very easy one. A ghostly voice cried, beware. The meaning to be careful. Beware of dog. I have flatter and flatter. So flatterer and flatter. That dress really flatters your figure. It means like suits. He is a flatterer. He keeps flattering others to borrow some money. I have it as a verb here and as a noun here. It means, as a noun, I mean, someone who keeps showing admiration to others. So, flatter is the verb, flatterer is the noun. The person, I mean, here. Trust. Are you sure? This will work. Trust me. I know what I, I know what I, what I'm doing. So trust means to have confidence in someone or something. Now look at this picture. A nice one, right? You should trust yourself because you are more powerful than you think. And now. Kindly, go to your booklet, page 30, and let's do this exercise. I have, uh, I have this exercise, it's beneath the table. We gazed, we gazed out the window and uh, the scenery. I have a verb here. And I have and. So think about the answer. It's like I used and to add another verb. Yes, correct. So D, if you go back to the words, you're going to find a verb that starts with D. It's Sorry, it starts with A. Admired. Admired. A is already written here, so I just I just need to write D M I R E D. Admired. We gazed out the window and admired. So I used and to add another verb. The children who broke the shop window, the angry owner of their innocence. I have a subject. This is a subject. The children who, who broke the shop window. So I need a verb which starts with C. Con. 
So I think about the function of the word. And I also think about the meaning of the word. It was very, I have very here, of him to, to offer us a place to stay. So what do I need here? I need an adjective. Think about an adjective which starts with G. Yes, correct. Gracious. Four. He told her he admired her paintings and she returned the by saying that she was a fan of his paintings too. I need a noun here because I have the. So think about think about the noun which starts with C. Come please. Look at the word admired. This word might help me to know the answer. The sign said sign of the dog. Super easy. Be, Be careful. Right? Or you can see be careful, but I think I have it here as beware. Be careful or beware. But here we have it in your lesson beware. Beware of the dog. He, here, I have a subject. What do I need after the subject? A verb. Her with comments about her youthful appearance. He battered. Seven. We, our meal, and rushed back to work. We had no time to waste. What do you think? We rushed. It, it's a past tense, right? So what do I need here? A past verb. We gobbled our meal and rushed back to work, we had no time to waste. It's like uh, we were in a hurry. The eight, the children were especially, that there were enough cookies for each of them to have two. We discussed this example, right? Especially, I have an adverb here. Adverbs describe adjectives. I need an adjective here. I am thinking about the functions of the words. Delighted, yes. Nine. Working together is going to be difficult. If you don't, I need a base form. You don't, uh, base form, yes. If you don't, each other. I need a base form. Starts with T. Trust. And the money will be distributed among the winners. Because the sentence ends here. I, I need an adverb to describe the verb. Once I told you that adverbs describe verbs equally. And the last one, the general.
the general of the house is quite good. I need a noun here because I have an adjective. So what do I need here? I need a noun. Think about a noun which starts with A. Appearance, good. Now, kindly study these new words and in the next lesson, I'll be discussing the fable, I mean the story that is in your student book, page 61. So kindly read it. It's very nice. It's very short and super easy. And thank you for watching.